What are you doing back here? Get out of here, dog. You'd get me in trouble. So you made the call? What call? <gasps> Wait. Is that where we sent Gotcha to a call girl service to work at? All right, welcome back to our completely normal, nothing out of the ordinary job here as a food inspector. So I think that for today, we're also going to go ahead and call Chan. Have her bring some food and see what's going on. I still want to go back to Yori at some point, obviously, but for now, let's do, um, Fukwang. 8877655 and order some food. Good evening. After a long time, we finally gathered some potatoes from the north again. There are loose potatoes and two pot. Well, I've been saying potatoes. Is it potatoes? Is, is it potatoes? <laughs> is it potatoes? I guess it's potatoes. It's not potatoes, it's potatoes. Alright. There's loose potatoes and there's two potato packs. Don't mess up the way. What does that mean? The two pack? Do I multiply this or what? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me do a quick multiplication in my head here. Okay, so based on my big juicy brain, the two pack has got to be between 3.30 and 4.30. You guys remind me of that. And apparently potatoes are supposed to be blue as well. Let me, let me get a little clown music happening today. Switch it up just a teeny tiny bit. Okay. So let's see here. You are just a single, you're 203, so that's your work as long as you are blue. You are blue off, you go, la da li la da do, feeling blue now. And you're 179, which is perfect, and you are also blue. Now you, are you 330 or 430? Yes, you are. Are you blue? Yes, you are. Okay. So I think we could, um, as long as we don't get tricked by the two-pack system, as long as we know how to multiply, basic multiplication fountain, it should be fine. We do have a confiscation bottle, so I'll go ahead and take this one here today. Now, unfortunately, by grabbing that, I kind of threw me off of everything. 215. Are you blue? You are blue. Off you go. 432. Too big? Get out of here. Well, we do have another confiscation bottle. I kind of want to show it to Nasty Nastia, but at the same time now, it's like I'm so in with the Rebels that I might as well not, because I feel like I might conflict with that a little bit, so... Either way, we got our money here. Decent enough cash. Then we should also be able to see, um, Chan here. Who we found out is, um, quite a bit of a smartass. Fuquan fast food. Good, uh, good morning. You don't have to say Fuquan every time, you know. Would you just mind your own business? Just saying. So, um, shall we continue our conversation last time? What? Are you still thinking about that? Why? Uh, just curious. Besides, I got nothing better to do up here. So, you know, I can really use some refresher on my brain. You call that a refresher? Name of a place? If you're born at District 8 like me, you'll learn how to play with your imagination. And it's not just any name. I know foreign names are usually beautiful. Are they? Bet you'll be disappointed by this one. What is it? Way. What's wrong? Just way. I'm waiting. <laughs> no, it's way, not wait. Oh! Told you, it's nothing special. Well, somebody told me as well to show her the, um, the map, I guess, to see if her country is on it. Well, not her country because she was born here, but her ancestry, I suppose. So let's see. Do I have the map on me? No, I don't. Don't think I want to show her the smuggled bottle. Don't know her now well enough to do that. Is it in the... F no, it should be the shelf, right? Yes. Okay. Show give Katya's map to Chan. Well, I just want to show it. Where'd you get this? A friend of mine? What do you want to do with it? Uh, I don't know. Probably nothing. Yeah, it's better that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I didn't really do much for us, apparently. But I tried. <laughs> Should we show her the cowgirl guard? 
<laughs> sure. What do you want to say? <laughs> uh, do, do you know what this card is? Of course I do. I've seen their shit many times. Is it okay for me to order it? <laughs> Look at her face. God, why are you asking me? S sorry, I mean, is it allowed here? Yeah, go ahead. Very expensive, though. You're telling me it cost me a thousand. Let's grab ourselves uh, a sushi set for some food here today. And that should be about it for us, right? Anything that we could read or do? Not really, no. We just gotta wait for that call girl to show up at some point. So, let's go to bed. Or apparently not. Ooh, that's a big ass ship. Oh. Well, what are you doing back here? Get out of here, dog. You'd get me in trouble. Mr. Crawford, uh, I am. W wait a minute. I remember you, you are... I know you know. It doesn't matter who I am, especially not today. So you made the call? What call? <gasps> wait! Is that where we sent Gotcha to a call girl service to work at? Very well. Standard answer for a Mashai customer. You see, we can't be too loud with our ship, otherwise we would definitely print our logo out. It is! Oh man, we just... We just possibly sent Katja off to prostitute herself. Does she know about this? But our massage girl is already waiting inside. So, money first. I thought I already paid. Oh, I had subtracted it from my total? Okay. Good. I'll pick her up in one hour. Hey! You can come out! Oh man, she doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Alright then, you know the rules. She touches you only. Have fun. Um... <laughs> shall we talk about, uh, in the boot? Not awkward. Uh... So, uh... What should I do now? You should relax. And... What should I call you? Uh... Ned's fine. You can sit down in your bed now, Ned. Oh, okay. Okay, now... I'm gonna touch you. Say ready when you do. Um, I'm ready? Oh, no, I'm not doing the old face sound here. I'm not gonna oh god either, okay? What are those noises going on in the background here? Okay, Ned. That's the end of the course. What was up with the noises going on in the background there is all I'm gonna say. I have, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Very familiar. Already, apparently my boy wasn't even done yet, if you know what I'm saying. I'm so comfortable, I think I almost fell asleep. Well, I mean, that's not normally a good sign of <laughs> intercourse. I think you kinda did. What? You snored like some cute little animal. So before I go, do you want to talk? Some of my customers are really into that. Uh, well... If you don't mind me asking... Why did you choose to do this job? Why do men always ask me this? Um, they do? Nine out of ten. Sorry, it's my first time ordering this kind of service, so... Well... There's nothing wrong with the question itself. But whatever I said, they always seem to put me into one of the two categories. What categories? A poor girl who needs money. Or a slut. But the truth is... I just want to do some massage. 
You mean you simply like giving people massages? Well, I guess in this world, there's no such thing as a, you know, physical or massage therapist out there, you know? Legitimate ones, I'm not saying, like, you know, the, the, you know, the ones. Yes, and there's more things I want to try. It's all about new experiences. It's time. Let's go outside. Alright, plus 15 for a good massage. Well, we learned a bit about her. I wonder if she's a character we could see more of eventually. Without spending a thousand each time, preferably. Hello, sir. Hope you've had a good time. If you want more, which is probably the case, you're most welcome to call us again. Alright, I'll leave you two to say goodbye. I mean, it was just a massage. It's not like my girlfriend going away, dude. So, nice meeting you. Uh, A? Thanks. Not just for the massage, you know. For the sharing part as well. Not at all. I only told you that because you're cute sleeping. Huh? See you another time, another place. Don't fall for it, dog, alright? Of course she's gonna be nice to you. It's the way to get your service again. Call back and you spend some more money. Don't get strung up after one compliment. Oh my god, she said I'm cute sleeping. I better call her again right now and spend all my money on that. Living under pressure is never new to me. If there's one thing it has never it has ever taught me, it's to survive it. You've got to eat and sleep well. Alright, see we got some info on Chan here. Where Chan's family used to live, and where Chan has never been. Don't know any more details. Well, because she's a really tough nut to crack. So A apparently is going to stick around, maybe. A is a cute... <laughs> a is a cute and mysterious girl. I was given a service of massage by her, which cost a thousand. A seems to be a devoted seeker of new experiences. She's doing multiple part-time jobs at the same time. Just for what purpose? Just for that purpose, it seems. Well, I mean, we can assume that that's where Katya ended up at, too, right? Maybe? I don't know. The fact that Joseph there just kind of screams that that's the case to me, but hey. Doorbell. What is this? Nas nasty Nasty? Yes. Good evening. I brought what you ordered last time. I already forgot what I ordered. It's been a couple of days from recording, to be honest with you. What do you want to order today? Um... Ask about call girl's legitimacy? <laughs> well, it's probably best for us to get it really okayed by the bosses and not just another third party, right? Sure. Uh, excuse me. I, uh... Someone sent me this small flyer. Oh, call girl? Yeah. And I'm wondering, is this is legal or anything? <laughs> Men have needs. Don't you think they'd consider that when building the skyline? Let's just say this call girl thing has been running for quite a long time. And no, you didn't hear that from me. I'm telling you it was more than just a massage, right? Let me... I guess we'll buy this too, we got enough money for it. I guess we're fine, do you want to show anything right now? Not really. Did you ever find out about that medicine thing I gave you, by the way? You haven't said a damn thing about that. And apparently, she is not still going to tell me anything about that. Remember we gave her that medicine that Juan gave us? That's it. She just took it and... She hasn't said a word, has she? Unless I'm mistaken and forgot. I mean, that's a possibility. I have a terrible memory, but still. Good evening. You may have noticed we are having a great harvest in the front lines lately. Today we're checking some fresh vegetables. Yeah, you heard me. Fresh vegetables after six months. Tell your families to line up for it if you want. Not that much in stock. And we're saving some for food studies. Alright. So red and yellow. Big old fresh food. Let's, um... Let's go with the one that apparently gives me the finger sometimes. So they're doing here. We also have to check to see if it is going to be purified or not. 243. That's good. But are you red? Yes. In you go. I'm not sure what's happening, but apparently a sweet roll just showed up. And nobody's saying anything about the sweet rolls. Do we report it? Do I take I guess we can just take it, right? Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. It's food for me. 
<laughs> I guess. Oh, we're cutting it close. We're still purifying. Oh, you know what? Focus. Focus. Drop the focus on it. Take it. Take it. You can unfocus if you want. Come on. Lift it. There we go. I, we still would have made it, but I don't trust that sanitation. Oh, what? <laughs> what can you do? You know, you win some, you lose some. I don't even know where that... I, 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 I'm not sure which one I messed up on. I guess I'll see it in post-editing. Alright. Doorbell. That should be Yori. Hi. Good to see you again, Mr. Crawford. Hey there. You, uh, don't mind me calling you out and asking you a bunch of questions, do you? Not at all. Please support Zen. That I will, definitely. So, Yori. How have you been lately? Huh? It hasn't been long since you came here, right? I know there's no war night in, but life can still get difficult sometimes. If there's anything I can help, please just ask. Mmm, difficult help. Oh, I see. Thank you. Aiden is good to me so far. Mmm, now there is one thing difficult. What is it? What is food rank? Oh, that one is difficult for local people too. But in a nutshell, you only have to know that any food rated D rank or below is not edible. Not edible. Uh, meaning you cannot eat them because of pollution. Pollution? Well... You notice the little white things floating in the air around us right now? That's what we call dust. And dust pollutes food. Makes them bad for your body. Naruhodo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, it's my language. It means now I understand. Naruhodo. Smart. Don't sass me, Yori. Oh, you know what? How about we ask her about the call girl thing? Yeah. Someone sent this to my boot. This is... Any idea what it is? Hmm. It's pink and... Girl. Cosmetic? Sorry, I don't know. That's the way to interpret it, I, I guess. <laughs> She's too pure. Okay then. See you next time. Bye, Yori. I used to think that I have plenty of time to plan things out. But now it's just getting less and less likely. The time to choose my pad may have come soon. Lotto time! Hey, look at that! We, I think, lost money. Because <laughs> it cost me 10, right? Ooh, big shocker. But you know what? We haven't done the childhood friend in a long time that I think we should probably go with that one. Alright, so we made the order. We'll see how it goes. Good evening. Today we have some fresh eggs and packs to go with some empty bottles. Each pack of eggs should be stamped red. An empty bottle should be filled up accordingly to the last time as well. Um... Okay. Anything special to keep an eye out for? I don't have to purify anything at least, but... Just stamp them all red no matter what. Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're gonna stop, right? You better stop. Stop, please stop. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about weight, so there's that. Um, 330 or 380. Uh, too much. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's see if I can nail one of these at some point. Stop there. Perfect. Okay. So that's good. That's, that's all I had to do. Nothing else. Nothing special with the eggs. Just send them on out. It feels a little bit too easy. Then I feel like I've messed up somewhere. So I'm not sure if this was a glitch or not, but um, my last batch, this one didn't go through with the last batch. I'm gonna take it. I'll be there soon. Um, I forgot what this girl's name is, to be honest with you. I, well, I guess we'll just go. I wanted to see what that item was, but whatever. What's your name? Oh, Lodi, right, right. It's been a very long time. Morning. Hey, you're here. Um, about last time when I talked about restaurants. Ned, it was my bad. I lost my temper somehow. Sorry. No, no, it's me who said something stupid. I apologize. I'll be honest with you, it's been so long ago that I kind of forgot what this, um, issue was about. 
It's okay. Elodie, um, are you feeling alright? You seem pretty stressful. That obvious? Not my first day knowing you. Well, my life is sort of a mess since graduation. How so? Long story short, I don't know what, what I can do for a living. Except working at the restaurant. And knowing you became an inspector, I was a bit envious, I guess. I don't even know what I want to do. And here you are, making it this far. But please don't feel guilty or anything. I'm truly happy for you. And this could be good for me, you know? Yeah, everyone was once lost, I guess. Just think about the high school me. Surely I'm not that better now, but... Anyway, another thing is, tonight, and you don't really have that many choices. True, it could be a reason. But it all comes down to myself, I think. Thanks, Ned. It's been a while since I can talk to someone about this. Anytime you know where to find me, right? Huh, <laughs> right. Honestly, I don't have any confidence or qualification to teach you anything. But this I can do. Rooting for you. I get to see you here again. Me too. Well, that was pleasant, whatever went down last time. Um, I guess we could show her some of the stuff that we have that we haven't shown anybody else, like the call girl thing. I mean, she's bound to know. Uh, what's this? Oh, don't act coy. Someone sent it to my boot. Wait. Is this what I think it is? Oh, what do you think it is? Some pink service. Right? <laughs> that's, that's what I think as well. So are you gonna... Never mind. You don't have to tell me this, really. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I figured it would happen. Um, the map. Yes. What's this? A map. A map? Where did you even get it? Just look at all those places. Aren't you ever curious about what's it like out there? You know we're not supposed to talk about that. I know, I just want to know what you really think. I think you should get rid of that map before anyone else finds out. If you can't do it here, I'll help. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when you put it that way, it's kind of... Have we shown it to them? I mean, the only person I think that we haven't shown it to is uh, Nasty Nasty, right? And obviously I don't want to show it to him. If we have the chance to get rid of this map, I think we should probably take it, right? Do it. You're right. I shouldn't keep it here. Yeah, I don't know how you got this, but you don't want to throw your life, your good life away because of this. Alright, was it a good idea or not? I don't know, I have no idea. But she put it in such a way that I was kind of like, well, you know... If it's that bad, you, you probably should take it, huh? Alright, uh, is there anything else we want to do here? I think we're good, right? Okay. Thank you. For, I guess, maybe hustling me out of the map, perhaps? What the man said will come... ...hasn't come yet. It's the worst kind of feelings. Waiting for something... ...to go wrong. And with that, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thus far. With the Ponia and Carry It now complete... ...I should have a bit more extra free time. I'm less spread out with series, so don't be surprised if you see more boot more often going forward. I'll catch you guys next time.